So in this video, I'm going to give you an actual battle plan that you can go away and implement in order to achieve financial freedom in high ticket sales. Now, since I made my last video about in Thailand, 90% of the people that live there, like 90% of the Westerners that live in Thailand work in high ticket sales, and that's how they've achieved financial freedom. I've had a lot of people message me about that since the last video. So let's break it down. High ticket sales is you're not starting a business. It's not a get rich quick scheme. You don't have to learn a million different things like you would with some of the other side hustles because most of the side hustles out there is like trading or starting your own business. High ticket sales is pretty straightforward. Now, straightforward doesn't mean easy. It's simple to be successful in high ticket sales, but that doesn't mean it's easy. Super straightforward. You're learning a sales skill. You're getting really, really good at said sales skill. And then you're finding a client to work for and offer that sales skill to. That's it. That's your roadmap as a as someone that wants to be successful in high ticket sales, but let's break down those steps because it's simple, but it's not easy. So let's make it easy for you guys. Or let's make it let's make it make sense. So there's two different high ticket sales roles at the moment that are like in extremely high demand: closing and setting. High ticket closers, high ticket appointment setters. Both of these things insane opportunities right now in Thailand. I met closers that are crushing it. I met appointment setters that are crushing it. Me personally, I prefer appointment setting because I feel like I've got a little bit more freedom with appointment setting. One thing that really makes me want to kill myself more than a lot of things is being sat in a dark room all day taking sales calls. The nine to five, working at Amazon, I hated that shit. And then when I started closing, I hated that just as much as I hated working at Amazon. So I don't like high ticket closing. But, uh, you know, you might not be like me. I mean, I've met guys in Thailand that absolutely love their roles as high ticket closers. I just don't like being sat in a dark room all day, personally. That's me. Appointment setting, you know, it doesn't matter if I'm in a dark, dark room or light room. It doesn't matter where I'm at. I can be on the beach. I can still be appointment setting. So that's why I like appointment setting. The job itself as an appointment setter can still be repetitive, the same way closing can be repetitive. But the thing that I like about appointment setting is the fact that I can change my environment to make it less repetitive. So... Yeah, that's my pre personal preference. Closers typically earn a little bit more money. Appointment setters typically earn maybe three to five K a month. Closers maybe four to eight K a month, maybe a bit more. But both of these roles are commission based. And what I love about that, what I love about sales, that means that the, the only limitation on your earning potential here is how good are you and how much work do you put in? If you're an absolute superstar, you're a G at sales, you're a savage, you're here to work, do whatever work... It takes that like, you can definitely scale to 10k a month as a setter or a closer. Either or, you can probably scale to 15, 20k a month. In fact, I've heard of appointment setters doing 40k a month and I've heard of closers doing 50k a month. So, you know, if you're an absolute superstar, you can scale to some big boy numbers in high ticket sales because it's all about how good are you at the skill and how much work do you put in. That's what I love about this space. No luck involved with this. There's no luck in this industry as opposed to some of the other side hustles out there. It's like, it's literally just, are you a G? There we go. Answer. So that's the thing. That's why I love sales. It's commission based. You've got the opportunity to grow. I, it, never, it never sat right with me that I was earning the same amount as some of these retards at Amazon. Some of these guys are literally the most just lazy people in the world. And I was getting paid the same as them who was actually good at my job. So that's one reason why I love sales. You've got setting, you've got closing. Choose the one that you feel suits your personality more. Some people say that you've got to start an appointment setting in order to go to closing. In my opinion, that's retarded because they're both completely different skills. I don't think that's necessary at all. I know so many people that have just dove straight into closing. So like, that's not necessary at all. Choose the one that you feel that like makes sense for you, whether that's closing or setting. I did setting, did a little bit of closing, didn't really like it. Um, even for my business now, when I can get away with not closing, I'll, I'll, you know, I'll get my brother to do it. So yeah. Choose the one that makes sense for you. And then the next step is to actually educate, us, uh, educate yourself on the field. Start building these sales skills because, of course, what you don't want to do is go get a job as a high ticket closer and do a terrible job, earn no money, get fired, and then your reputation's kind of ruined. You don't want that to happen, right? You want to make sure that you know what you're doing. Now, unfortunately, brother, you've got to invest money here. And I'm not telling you that you've got to invest in alpha setters. You can definitely do that if you want to, but you definitely don't have to do that. Alpha setters, that's my training program where I train appointment setters. But at the bare minimum, I thought I had it here. At the bare minimum, whether you're getting into setting or you're getting into closing, I want you to go buy this book. New model of selling. This is the bare minimum. You don't have to invest in a course, a program. Ideally, you should, but you don't have to. 
But you do need to read this book, and I'm, I'm telling you, you need to read this book. I've been through over £12,000 worth of sales courses, and I found this to be my most useful sales resource. I highly recommend. Uh, the New Model of Selling by Jeremy Miner. Jeremy Miner is the absolute GOAT. Go read this book, and then once you finish this reading this book, read it again, and then once you feel like your sales skills are good, like, you know, you're competent, you're competent in the ability of selling, now it's time to go out there and start trying to find your sales goal. Now, I've got a tree, free training where I talk about how to do outreach on Instagram and on Facebook. I think outreach is still going to be like your bread and butter for finding opportunities. It's still important because when you're doing outreach, you're also practicing your abilities in sales. You're practicing your appointment setting to get them on a call. And then once you're on the call, you're practicing your ability of closing, but your appointment setting for yourself and you're closing for yourself. So doing outreach is still really, really important in 2024 to find a good opportunity. Chan, I spoke about Chan in my last video. Chan found his opportunity through the um, cold outreach strategy that I teach in Alpha Setters. Um, cold outreach still works. Cold outreach definitely still works. But of course, you can't just be one of these spammers in their DMs. You need to be creative with it. You need to actually take it seriously. You need to split test your messages to let the market give you feedback on what works and what doesn't work. But in addition to doing cold outreach every single day and keeping your volume high, I think it's also important to start investing time into your personal brand. The magical thing of it is about 2024 is that your personal brand gives you the ability to attract anyone to you. Anyone that you want to target, you can attract them to you with your personal brand. That's the thing with me right now. In 2023, I posted a total of 136 opportunities for my students inside of Alpha Setters. At the end of 2023, I only had about 60 students. I posted 136 opportunities when I only had about 60 students. So I posted twice as many opportunities than I even had students. Where do I get these opportunities from? Do you think I do cold outreach on Instagram every day? Hell no. I've got, th I've got things to do. Train for boxing fights, etc. These guys message me first. These businesses message me first, they're interested in my agency uh, services, and then I post their, their ads in the group chat for my students. This is because I've got a personal brand. It's because I'm posting on YouTube, it's because I look like a G on Instagram. I'm posting content out there. I look like a G. People are interested to talk to me because I look like a G. There you go. Focus on your personal brand. Take some time, make some reels. Post some good pictures of you where you look kind of cool or you're training or show some personality on your page and people will buy into you. You'll get inbound messages. I get students message me all the time saying, oh, I just had a guy reach out to me. He's asked if I want to work for him. He didn't have to do anything. He attracted the client to him. So invest in your personal brand. And that, that leads on to the next point is once you've got a good personal brand, it makes networking very, very easy. If you look like a good, if you look like a G on Instagram, then other Gs are going to be want, want to be friends with you. Perfect. Then you can start using your network as well to find the perfect opportunity for you. Focus on your personal brand, do your cold outreach, just get the reps in every single day, make no excuses, get the reps in, and then you will land your perfect client. Now, I want to say, be patient with this as well, be patient with this. If you want to take a, a mediocre role to get started, just to get some experience, then perfect, I respect that highly. But let's say, if you was doing cold outreach, and you was messaging people to, for networking, and you was building your personal brand every single day for the next six months, and only in six months' time did you land your first client. That might seem like, oh, shit, that's a long time. That's a long investment. Six months just to land one client. But that one client could change your life forever. So that's one thing that I would say there is just stay committed to the daily actions, the volume, track your data, do all of the things every single day to make it unreasonable for you not to land your five-star client in the next six months. Ideally, you want to do it way sooner than that. Sooner than that, in Alpha Setters, we have a guarantee that you'll sign your first client in the first six weeks. Um, but obviously, if you go to do this by yourself, then you're not going to be as good. You're not going to know the exact strategies, but just stay consistent. That's the main thing. Stay consistent and do your daily inputs. Once you've got that first client, now it's on you to perform. Perform like your life depends on it. Just getting your first client, that's step one. But now we go harder than ever to make sure we deliver results for our clients. What we want you want to earn loads of commissions. If you earn a load of commissions, then your clients made loads of sales. You're happy. Your client's happy. Everyone wins. We're all building an empire together. And that's what I love about sales. So once you've got that client, don't get complacent. So many countless, countless times have I seen someone come in, they've signed their first client, and then they just stop learning. They just stop focusing their time on reading books, learning, studying, watching YouTube videos, buying courses, blah, blah, blah. 
Once you've signed your first client, that's when it truly begins. That's when it's even more important than ever to start ruthlessly trying to improve your ability at sales. If you're always improving your ability in sales, guess what? You're always increasing your income. And if you're the type of guy that comes into the market, earns 2K a month, earns 3K a month, earns 5K a month, and then gets complacent and stops looking for improvement, then you are not the type of person that is going to last in this space because sales is an industry for savages. Everyone at all times in sales wants what you've got. Everyone wants to overtake you. Everyone wants to, to knock you down. They want to they wanna build. They want to take what you've got, bro. Sales is an industry where you just can't get complacent. Otherwise, you're going to get flushed out of the market. There's no space for princesses in this industry. So if you're in sales, you better have that hunger. You better have that fire inside you to always keep pushing forward and always keep improving. Otherwise, you're going to get flushed out of the market. Okay? So that's one thing that I'll say. Once you've signed your first client, keep investing in courses, bro watch YouTube videos, buy books. Like I said, I've been through over 12,000 pounds worth of sales courses. I still buy books, still read sales books, still watch YouTube videos about sales to this day because sales is the most valuable skill in the world. You're never gonna regret getting too good at sales. That's never happened, right? In everyday life, no matter what you do, whether it's a business, whether you still work in the industry or whether you're just trying to, you know, convince your girlfriend to come and eat ice cream with you, whatever it is, you need the skill of sales. So, um... Take the time, take it seriously. Don't get complacent in this industry. It's not a place for princesses. And yeah, once you've got your client there, just keep on pushing, keep on pushing, keep on pushing. Stack in as much commissions as possible. Stack in testimonials. Post your social proof on your social media as well. It's almost like a backup plan or it's an advantage for whenever you decide to take the next step and become a growth specialist slash agency owner. Posting your wins, like, oh, okay, yeah, I've just closed five deals today, blah, blah, blah. Post it on your story, bro. Your future self will thank you for it. Post it on your story, pop, b stop building your personal brand, and then you've got credibility. Maybe better opportunities will come your way. Or maybe once you've got to the point where you're making 5K a month, 10K a month in high ticket sales, then you're going to try and take the next step to actually become either a growth specialist or you're going to build your own agency. That's the path that I help my students down. I help guide them from beginner to 5k a month in appointment setting, to go specialist making 10k a month, and then even potentially going on to build their own agency. Um, there's levels to the game, boys. It's a beautiful, beautiful industry. Now is a perfect time to get started because there is so much demand for sales reps right now. Um, I hope this video helped as well, boys. If you've got any questions, then leave a comment below. Leave a comment and some of them, I'm, I'll help you out, of course. Some of the boys might be able to help you out. And if you've got any further questions, then feel free to shoot me a DM on Instagram. Like I said before, there's no obligation here. You don't need to invest in alpha setters or anything like that. You don't need to invest in a course. It will definitely help you. It will definitely help skyrocket you and even guarantee you results. But again, I, I expect at least all of you. You don't have to invest in a course, but I expect you all to at least buy this book, okay? New model of selling. And also go follow Jeremy Miner on Instagram because his sales content is absolutely golden. So yeah, let this help, boys. As always, subscribe for more content like this and keep grinding.